One of the hardest parts about replacing the screen on the 4 or 4S is staying organized. So I made this sweet little paper that will help you stay organized. You can download it directly from my blog by clicking the bottom left hand corner. One little trick I've learned is to put a piece of tape over the cracked screen. It will keep shards of glass from going everywhere. I will link replacement screens in the video description below so it's easier for everybody to find the good ones. If you have any questions or anything, leave them in the comments. I respond fairly regularly. Turn the phone off if you can, and then take out the SIM card. As you can see, this tutorial is going to be pretty straightforward, no fluff, as quick as possible. Take out the two bottom screws. They're a pentalobe screwdriver. You can see the tools in the video description below. The back slides up and then pops right off. I'm going to go ahead and put that on my handy dandy little paper. Two screws holding the battery bracket in, and once that's done, grab the little black piece and you better believe there's a slot on the paper for this as well. Keep everything organized. And then you lift the little bracket up and that unconnects the battery. And you pull up on the little pull tab. If the pull tab breaks, which I've had happen before, just pry the battery out. It's held in place by a little bit of glue. Place that on the paper. And then I just fold the tab over so it stays out of my way. There's a little shield holding the charging port connector. Take that shield off, there's a spot for the screws as well. And then there's the top shield, four screws. Lift that up and out. There's two little slots in the bottom holding it onto the motherboard. Place that on your little paper. And then the camera, it's like a little Lego. You lift up on that little bottom piece and it unclips. Take the camera, put it on the paper. And then there's some ribbon cables. Kind of like Legos, just lift up and away. Gently, always. These are to the screen, the digitizer and the LCD. And then there's this little black sticker covering up this little screw that we have to also remove. Once that screw is gone, there will be a little gold piece that we also need to not lose. Place it on your paper. And another screw over here for another bracket. This itty bitty bracket will come up and away from the board and you have to remove that before you can start on the motherboard. Another little connector and then we're going to bend up this other black part over here just to give us a little bit more room to work with. Three more ribbon cables down along the bottom, well in the center of the motherboard. And then we're going to lift up the charging port connector. Just kind of fold it up and out of our way. Two screws holding down the bottom speaker. Put that on the paper. Also a little black triangle. There's a slot for everything. And then this wire cable just clips up and away from the main board. And then there's four screws holding on the main board. Once those screws are done, you can just kind of wiggle it out. Make sure it's not getting caught on any of the ribbon cables. You want to be super gentle with those. And then the little circly thingy as well. There's a slot for that on my paper. Then there's four screws in the corner of the phone. It's very important that you remove these because this is what's holding the screen onto the frame of the iPhone. There's six other screws along the sides. And each of these has a little washer as well, so make sure to keep the washer with the screw. Now this is only for the iPhone 4. Unlatch that little latch and that's for the home button so you don't tear the ribbon cable on the home button. The iPhone 4S ribbon cable is not connected to the home button, as you'll see here in a second. Now the iPhone 4S screen easily pulls away from the frame. You just want to slide those ribbon cables through the little hole. Since it's already broken, it's not too big of a deal if it breaks the little heads off. But, you know, be careful anyway. And now you want to get rid of every little tiny bit of glass that you possibly can. Because if there's any glass in here, then the screen's not going to sit tight against the frame of the phone anymore, which is kind of a big deal. So clean it up as best you can, then take off the little plastic piece on the new screen and slide it into place. You want to keep those cables up at the top as straight as possible. Keep in mind as well that the CDMA and the GSM have differently spaced frame brackets. You can see that the ribbon cables up top are not bent in any way. They just slide straight in. If you feel like your cables are too short, chances are you bent one of them. Now that it's in place, it sits flush with no glass in between the screen and the frame. And now I need to get my home button up in there. I'm taking it off of the old screen, just peeling it away. Getting all the extra glass off of there and then popping it right into its little slot. Okay. 
And now we're going to put it all back together. Four screws in the corner. Make sure they're all tight. Six screws along the sides. Also make sure they're tight with the little washers in place and that the screen is sitting flat against the frame. And then you take the main board and slide it in the little grooves. It'll sit completely flat against the bottom of the phone. Make sure there's no wire cables or anything else pinched underneath. And then grab your little circle device and slide that in as well. And then there's going to be four screws around the outside of the main board. Grab your loudspeaker, pop that into place. Put the top of the speaker in first and then drop the bottom of the speaker down. And then you can wrap the wire cable around. Be really, really careful when you're putting this into place, when you're clipping it in, that you don't bend any of the sides. Now you put your little black triangle in place and then screw both of those in. Then you can fold over the charging port cable, clip that back into place, get the itty bitty bracket on top of the little screw hole, screw it back in, get the gold bracket next to the camera, place that in place, screw it in, and get the camera in there. Click it in like a little Lego. You'll definitely know when it clicks in and then start folding over the ribbon cables. These are the LCD and digitizer cables. And then you have three more. Start with the shortest one and then get the other ones in place. And then the top shield clips in with the bottom two brackets and there's four screws around the outside. One more shield covering the charging port cable lift up your little tab and get the battery in place. Make sure not to pinch any of the cables as you're sliding it in. I like to put the top in first. Take that little black bracket, get that into place, and then screw in the two screws holding the battery in place. And get the back on there. Two screws for the, the pentalobe screws. And the phone works. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. If I helped you in any way, shape, or form, please subscribe. It does help me out a lot. You can also hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+, and then check out my blog. I post stuff regularly, and I have a lot of fun doing it. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you around.